Happy New Year from Brayhead Clan. Welcome to Clan TV. The clan taking on Sheffield Steelers tonight. It's second versus third. It's going to be a big, big game. Both teams come into this weekend with some decent results. Brayhead Clan beat Edinburgh Capital 7-3 last Sunday. Now Sheffield Steelers beat Hull Stingray 6-3 on Thursday, teeing up what will be a fantastic match between two teams as they battle it out for second place tonight. A lot at stake. Brian Finnerty up against his old team in Sheffield Steelers, with whom he spent two years. Doug Christensen, four wins out of five as Steelers form suddenly takes a turn for the better as they look to challenge Belfast for that top spot. Now we'll go to the action and find out what happened. Brayhead Clan versus Sheffield Steelers. The first time Sheffield Steelers have come to Glasgow this season, they'll be out for revenge after losing both their home games to Brayhead Clan earlier in the season. The Steelers come here having won their last three matches, including Thursday's 6-3 win over Hull Stingrays, and those two victories over the Elite League champions, Nottingham Panthers, in the week between Christmas and New Year. For Doug Christensen, it's the first time he's come here as the Sheffield Steelers coach. After spending three years as Belfast Giants coach and nine visits to Glasgow, Christensen was successful on seven of those occasions. Ryan Finnerty, of course, is always special for him to meet Sheffield Steelers. He was coached there for two years before leaving them in the summer before arriving at Brayhead Clan. Referee is Mike Hicks tonight, and he is assisted by Gordon Perry and Pavel Halas. It's this very busy Brayhead Arena following on from the sellout crowd here last week. Get ready to cheer their respective teams on. Sheffield Steelers fans are here in big numbers as well. But they'll struggle to be heard over the large contingent of Brayhead Clan fans that fill this arena tonight. Mike Hicks about to drop the puck and get the game underway. Brayhead Clan are without Shane Lust tonight. Well, Sheffield Steelers go without Dustin Cohen, who's in the second game of a few game suspension, and they go without Stephen Corson as well. We're underway here in this busy arena. Sheffield Steelers, the first footers to Brayhead Arena this year in 2014. We'll certainly be looking to continue the good start to 2014 they've already had with that win over Hull on Thursday night. For Brayhead, a 7-3 win at Edinburgh Capitals last Sunday on the back of those two defeats to league leaders Belfast Giants. They'll certainly be keen to claw that back. Sheffield Steelers, however, a win here tonight would take them second place in the league table above Brayhead clan. Very much a four-pointer this match between these two tides. Mark Thomas on the inside. Jeff Legui. And the puck is pulled back. And it's a holding call. Drew Fata trips over his own skates. Kevin Bergen was at his back there. Great delight from the Brayhead fans as they as they see that. Scott Arson. Steelers bring it out once again. Jeff Legui. Decent effort. Tim Spencer. But it's blocked. McGrain now coming down the other side. McGrain. Doyle deflects wide. Certainly has the makings of a decent match in this, this first five minute period. Brayhead have already survived an early power play when Ash Goldie was. Had to sit out for two minutes for holding the stick. Defended that well, killed the penalty very well indeed. Oh, nearly mistake from Hewitt there. Cullen went into pounds. I think Doyle's covered it. Cullen a little unlucky there. Seizing the error, Jason Hewitt not quite getting full, full control of the puck there. Cullen almost swept in, but alas, wasn't to be. So Steelers power play. Third worst in the league, 17% compared to Brayhead's 83% penalty kill. The third best in the league, those stats courtesy of Clan Stats. Decent shot from Fata there. Esders on the end of that puck. Certainly come off worse there. 
That looked like a bad one. Well, the physio coming on. Esdor straight away gesturing that he was very hurt there. He took that full in the, the wrist or the hand, maybe. And a round of applause for Lee Esdor's as he's helped on his feet by Ed McGrain and Matt Tau. Edgar gets an ovation, standing ovation from the fans. Underway again, the face off on the far side. Drew Fata, one timer! Excellent shot, excellent execution from Drew Fata. Just as Joe Cullen was returning to the ice. Excellent finish from Sheffield Steelers. Fata lined it up brilliantly, lasered it past Kyle Jones into the Brayhead goal, and the visitors take a 1 0 lead on 10 51. Excellent defensive display from Brayhead Clan. As they look as though they've killed this penalty, yep, Scott Harson returns to the ice, number six is back on. Now Champagne sends through, that's Goldie. Goldie, oh, sends the puck wide. That was a golden opportunity there from the Brayhead clan captain. Doyle might have got a touch, I'm not very sure. Certainly a fantastic opportunity for the captain to level the match. Face off in the Brayhead clan zone to the left of Kyle Jones in goal on our left as you're watching. Longley has to chase back Lee Esders. Lee Esders has a lot of energy in the second period. Jason Hewitt is set up there. The Steelers have added a second goal. Well, from one end of the rink to the other, Steelers go 2-0 up, it was Jonathan Phillips, I think, with the finish. Sending the puck past Kyle Jones. Matt Tau in the middle there with Jason Hewitt. They head on the puck, take it back the way. Haywood sweeps it up the way. Esdor's trying to nick it off, Gord Baldwin. I don't think Baldwin knew Esdor was coming in behind him. Jason Hewitt. Chris Frank, Haywood, number 11 on this near side. Lord Baldwin, he's forced against the boards there. Brayhead trying to retrieve the puck. Esther's doing a, something of a holding job on him, but it comes free. Esther's. That was a chance there. Chris Frank. It's all over the place now. Steelers trying to scramble it away. Tau wins that one. Puck sent in. Well, grabs it. Couple of skirmishes in there. Tensions heightened in this last few minutes of the second period. The officials in there, referee Mike Hicks. In there with his two linesmen, Gordon Perry and Pavel Halas. Chris Frank unlucky there, but he had a wide open net. Steelers managed to galvanise and get rid of the puck. In, covering at the back. Still Champagne. Boldy on this right hand side. Sends the puck across, no one there to support. That was Nicolette doing exactly the same thing. To no avail, Kenton Smith. 
Clark, Stefan Meyer at his back. Bergen, Smith, Rucker bodies in front of him, can't quite get there. It looks like Ash Downey has got the final touch. Sending that puck into the net, finally giving these fans something to cheer about. The Brayhead skipper pulls one back with 1.37 left to play of this second period. They've had their chances, certainly. You wondered if one was going to come. It certainly has. Smith's shot. It was a scramble in front of goal. It looks as though Goldie was able to sweep it in from close range. Frank Doyle has finally breached. Brayhead Clan finally have the goal. Steelers bring it forward again. That was a chance, Danny Myers. Brayhead have to clear the lines now. It's a two on one. Cullen with McGrain in support. Cullen and McGrain. Cullen finishes the equaliser. Sending the puck past Frank Doyle. Short handed goal. And Brayhead plan have equalised with 10.42 left of the game. Terrific breakaway move. Cullen for McGrain. McGrain back to Cullen. Cullen a slight shimmy, sends the puck past Doyle. The home fans are on their feet. Brayhead two, Sheffield two. Well, that attendance has been announced. I told you it wasn't near three and a half thousand, it was over three thousand. Three thousand and three. Another very sizeable attendance for Brayhead Clan tonight, their second ever highest attendance in the history of the club since it began in 2010. A fan base growing, as we saw last week against Belfast. A win here would surely reward those fans that have maybe come back. As this club continues to grow. Now, Steelers. Tau. Oh, and Meyer in the five hole. I sent the puck through Jones and the Steelers take the lead. Seven minutes left to go exactly. Fans unhappy. Matt Tau is impeded on this near side. Finnerty holds his hands out in disbelief, the Bray head coach. The home fans boo Meyer taking the puck on, sending the puck through Kyle Jones' legs and into the net. And now the visitors take a lead. Steelers regain the lead, seven minutes to go. It's a face-off right outside Kyle Jones' goal on this near side. Pulling the goalie yet. Because Mero went close. The reverse comes off the board, comes back out. They're looking for it. Bergen now. Is this a breakaway for Brayhead? Ed McGrain. Two D men in front of him. Forced to go wide. Dash Goldie's there with him. Nicolart is at the point. The puck's lost. Over a minute left to go. One wonders when Kyle Jones will be pulled and that sixth man will be added to bolster. Brayhead's hopes of getting something from this match. Champagne on the right side, Goldie in the middle. Excellent block from the D-men lying on the ice. That was Danny Myers with the block. Jones is pulled. Now Steelers. Jonathan Phillips sends the puck up for Pill Hill. Joe Cullen retrieves it, brings it out now. Last 30 seconds of play. Clan two, Steelers three. Can Brayhead at least try and hang on for overtime? Time is running out, Joe Cullen. Champagne. Scrambling for that puck now. Goldie, last chance. 
Excellent save from Doyle with 1.2 seconds left. It's all over for Brayhead clan. Unless they can fashion something in double quick time, I very much doubt it. I don't think it's going to happen tonight. The green. In that circle. Unless he can hit it straight from the face off. But it's all over. It's all over. Brayhead clan have lost tonight. Stefan Myers winner in that third period, proving to be decisive. Unlucky for Brayhead Clan in the end. He got the game back to two apiece. That excellent work move between Joe Cullen and Ed McGrain. Cullen sending it past Doyle to equalise for Brayhead. Short-handed early in this third period. Just when it looked as though Brayhead were about to turn the game around. Steelers caught them cold. Stefan Meyer sending the puck through the legs of Kyle Jones. And Doug Christensen's side held on to win by three goals to two, sending them to second place in the Elite League tonight. Of course, the Moody Brayhead won't be helped by the fact that Dundee Stars have beaten Belfast Giants tonight in overtime as well, bringing the Stars closer to Brayhead in that league table also. Disappointing for Brayhead. We'll get the thoughts of coach Ryan Finnerty, among others, through Brayhead Clan's Clan Radio. Keep a listen out for that and watch the videos on YouTube. We finish here, Brayhead Clan 2, Sheffield Steelers 3.